While he's gone, can you tell us if he's like a doctor, like a real doctor? I'm sure he's a real doctor. He has a uniform. And it says his name on it. We could just get it through Sean and get it from a, um, a someone. Who's ready for their checkup? Whoa. Are you ready for your uh, checkup? That's like a nurse instead of doctor. Why? What does it say here? Dr. Dr. Mike, Mike Hale. Go Hale Barashad. Mikhail. We practiced this. Family medicine. Good job, bro. Are yeah. uh, you ready to play a game today? Yeah. But I thought you said you wanted me to give you shots today. No! Why not? You're trying to make a joke. Was it funny? No. No. Okay. Who's the oldest? Me. How, mo how much older are One. you? One minute. One minute? Yeah. How many seconds? 60. How many milliseconds? Milliseconds? Yeah. Milliseconds. I don't know. Have you guys done Mad Libs before? No. Mad Libs. Mad Libs is like, you gave me all these words, and now we're going to put them into a story, and I'm going to read the story. Ava. Yeah. Name an animal. Any animal. Um, Your favorite animal. A pig. <laughs> Alexis, you ready? Pick a child's name. How about Nia? Nia. A town name. Who's vlog? Name a tall animal. Quickly. Um, giraffe. Name a classroom activity. Um, paint. Are you an artist? Nope. But you paint. Yes, I paint, but I'm not an artist. Oh, an artist, artist is a job. Good. She it's paints. a job. So no one pays you? No. Which one of you is a better painter? Me. Someone has to settle that. Me. Me. I'm the oldest, so I know more stuff. But who paints the most? Me. Favorite school subject? Science. Least favorite school subject? Reading. You don't like reading? No. I won't tell your mom. I don't like reading. You don't like reading too? And writing. And math. Okay. I love math. I don't like math. What's your favorite insect? I do not like spiders or cockroaches. Are spiders insects? I don't think they're insects. They're not? No. What are they? Arachnoids. I don't know. Okay, then the cockroach. Why are cockroaches <laughs> scary? They're just scary. Yeah. Why are people some scared of ants? I don't know. No. You tell I'm not me. scared of ants. Well, red ants bite. Yeah. They do. So if you had to choose between going to the doctor and getting a needle and a shot or a fire ant, what would you choose? Shot. Shot, yeah. Okay, good. So you like going to the doctor. No, I don't. No, you I just don't. said it. You can't. No takesies, backsies. Takesies, backsies is not cool. That's not cool? Ava, name your favorite fruit. Uh, Kiwi? Kiwi. Well, I like kiwis. I like kiwis. Name a piece of garbage. A broken shaver. The hair breaks the shaver because yeah. it's too strong. Yes, it's too much hair. Okay, yeah. this is going to work real well in this story. <laughs> Name a body part. Uh, Let's see your liver. What does your liver do? Chop down things. Yeah. Chop down food. things? Like food. trees? Like food. It creates something known as bile that helps break down some foods. Alexis, name a body part that's noisy. The heart. Any mouth. Your mouth? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's it talk. But the, the heart does a cooler sound. I want you to hear my heart and then you tell me the sound that it makes. You know how to use this already, you're a pro. Yeah, I'm a pro. Oh, it's, uh, ouch, Ava! Sorry. Right here? Go here. I don't really hear that much noise. Did my heart stop? Do it higher here. Not here. What does it sound like? I hear it like cracking up things. It's like, like Yeah. Lub dub. Love dog. What's your doctor name? Alexis. Your doctor Alexis? Yeah. Okay, that's kind of boring. Well, Doctor Mike is boring. Oh, is it now? I don't hear nothing. How do you do? You right in the middle of my. No. What do you do if someone's heart stops? Okay. Chest compressions. Don't you dare! Is it this one? It's on the left side. Left. This is my right. This is my left. Shh. You can't do that to your patients. Emotion. Happy. Profession. Slama. Favorite show. Endings. Thundermans. What's that? It's a show about superheroes. I like Donald Duck. That's a superhero. Yeah, he is. Give me a verb. Verb is like a person, place, or thing. Nope. No, uh, that's a noun. Run. Run? Give me a sad or negative emotion. Mad. All right, give me another job. A doctor that's named Mike. Mike Hale Washavsky. That's getting better. All right, now you get to name a profession. Photographer? Dream job. A video professional. Aren't you already a YouTuber? No, 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 a good one. I Are am you a bad one? one? <laughs> Favorite food? Macaroni. By itself? Pizza. Macaroni pizza? No, pizza. Name a sweet fruit. Watermelon. M melon. Watermelon. Okay. You're going to give me a positive adjective. Is it like a describing one? Exactly. Unique? Okay. 
Are you ready to play the game? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna read you the story and you created the story because you gave me those things. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a piggy named Nia who lived in Holmesburg. Every day at school, Nia would ask their teacher, Miss Giraffe, to go to the bathroom. Remember Miss Giraffe? Yes. Yeah. This wasn't just once a day though, as Nia would have to go every 30 minutes to the bathroom, taking them away from painting, building volcanoes, and even reading. Miss Giraffe thought this was strange, so she told Nia's mom and suggested that she take Nia to the best doctor in Homestead. Homesburg, what did I say? Homestead. Homestead. <laughs> Do you know who the best doctor is in Homesburg? Dr. Mike. Nope, Dr. Cockroach. <laughs> So Nia goes to Dr. Cockroach's office. Nia walks into the examination room and it smelled like rotten kiwis and broken shavers. Kiwi and shaver. Yeah. And that turns out because Dr. Cockroach had just eaten lunch. Dr. Cockroach examined Nia's liver, but that was healthy. Then Dr. Cockroach used a stethoscope just like this and listened to Nia's heart, but that was healthy too. Finally, Dr. Cockroach performed a blood test. So as Dr. Cockroach is performing the blood test, Nia was waiting for the results and she felt very nervous. Nia dreamed one day of becoming a plumber. Would being sick prevent them from doing that? Would they be lonely and spend their entire life at home watching the Thundermans? Well, finally, Dr. Cockroach returned with the blood test results. Dr. Cockroach told Nia that she had type 1 diabetes. Ugh. You heard of that? Yeah. Yeah. So immediately, Nia began to run because they were so mad. Does this mean I will never grow up to be a plumber? Asked Nia. Not at all, said Dr. Cockroach. People with type 1 diabetes actually live entirely normal and successful lives. They grow up to be doctors, photographers, and if they're lucky, even YouTubers. Is this because of all the cheese pizza I've been eating, asked Nia. Not at all, replied Dr. Cockroach. Type 1 diabetes is not your fault. It may cause you to feel thirsty, use the bathroom often, which would explain why you had to leave class so much. It can give you headaches, and it can make your breath even smell like watermelons. What? Yeah. Type 1 diabetes is a lifelong illness, which means there is no cure, but it can be controlled. You'll need to check your blood sugar levels and make sure they don't get too high or too low. And all that being said, if you monitor those levels and take care of your body, you can live a long, hairy life and become a plumber after. <laughs> a plumber after. Do you know what type 1 diabetes is now? You're born yeah. diabetes. Yeah. And it's not your problem, but you have to keep your blood pressure not too high. I mean, your um, what is sugar. Blood sugar. sugar. But you're right too, the blood pressure too, it's important. Yeah, and not too high, but not too low. And number two is when you get, get it. When you eat too much sweets and you get it. Well, sometimes that can happen. But type one diabetes means you're born with it. Type two means you develop it in your life. Do you know what's the hormone that you need to function in order for your blood levels to be normal, blood sugar levels? Medicine. Someone said it behind you. Insulin. Yes. Okay, so there's an organ inside your abdomen here. Uh -huh. It's called the pancreas. A pancreas? Yeah, it sounds funny, right? Like it's a true. penguin. Yes, and it makes insulin. And what that insulin does is it allows the sugar to go into your cells so you can be healthy and strong. And insulin is made? By? By penguins. <laughs> Pancreas. Pancreas. I think you guys figured it out. <laughs> You're basically doctors now. Do you have any questions about type 1 diabetes? Will we ever find a cure for diabetes? Um, I think in the future we might. Right now we don't have one, but we have a way to treat it to keep you healthy and happy. Does it hurt diabetes? Does it hurt? It can make your stomach hurt sometimes, make your belly hurt. On its own, if you manage it well, it's okay. It doesn't hurt. And if you have to give yourself insulin, it's a little prick, but it doesn't hurt that much. Do a lot of kids have diabetes? Across the world, yes. It's a very common condition. Thousands, if not millions of kids around the world have diabetes. More than that. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people in the world. There's a lot of people. Good job. All right, we learned about type 1 diabetes and the liver. And then, and this. And psh, you know you have to do the explosion. Psh. Oh, you added it the explosion. Exploded that was big. impressive. Check out this video where we watch Doc McStuffins. And check out the video on their channel. Pew 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 pew.